Okay, this video is going to show how you can take an existing worksheet, bring it up as an image in Google Slides, and then add text boxes and drag and drop features to create uh, an interactive worksheet for your students. So I'm going to be using this slope and y-intercept worksheet for my um, example. So I'm going to create a new Google Slides presentation. I always start by removing what's already there. And then for this, I'm going to be changing my page setup to be the same as a sheet of paper. So I'm going to be using 8.5 by 11 here. You might be able to hear fireworks going off in my neighborhood on the video. I don't know, maybe. Uh, all right, so this is a standard size sheet of paper, which is nice because it's easy to print out and it'll fit perfectly on a sheet of paper for you. Um, all right, so I have here this Google Doc that has some graphs and directions on it. And what I want to do is I want to be able to take this and put it into uh, my slide. So I'm going to use my snipping tool here. I'm going to make a new uh, snip. Actually, let me get this cursor out of here. Move the cursor to the bottom so it's not in the picture. There we go. All right. Now we'll do a new snip. And I'm going to snip the top half first because I don't want to make it too small. And I'm going to right click, copy, and then I'm going to come over here to my Google Slides presentation and I'm going to control V, which is going to paste it there for me. Oh man, I bet you guys can definitely hear those fireworks. And then I'm going to come back to my worksheet and I'm going to do the same thing for the second half. So I'm going to do a new snip and I'm going to snip number five through eight. And again, I'm going to just control V, copy and paste that here. It looks like it's going to be pretty small. I don't really like how that looks. So I think I'm probably going to add a second slide. So I'm going to delete that from that slide and add it to a second slide here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I like how that, um, how that looks with more space. So um, I have my uh, pictures here, uh, my worksheet uploaded, but I'm going to actually, these are movable and I like to actually put them in as a background image. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out of my worksheet here and I'm gonna show you how you can make this stay there so it's stuck and it can't be moved around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do file, download, PNG image, and that's gonna download an image of that page. I'm going to do the same thing on slide two, file, download, PNG image. And then I'm going to come and add two additional blank slides to my presentation. And those blank slides, I'm going to add a background image. So those downloads I just made, I'm going to actually put in as my background. So here's those two downloads I just did. I'm in downloads and they're the most recent two. So I'm going to select that first one. And that'll be the background of my first page. You can see it looks exactly the same, but now this is not uh, something that I can move around. And then here on slide four, I'm gonna do the same thing. Background, choose image. It's in my downloads folder and it's that most recent one there. All right, so I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna remove those first two slides because I don't need those any longer. So now that I have these images saved in the background, I'm going to want to add something interactive for my students. So there's a couple choices uh, you could do here. I'm going to show on the first slide here um, a way that you could have students just type. And then on the second slide here, I'll show how you can use a drag and drop feature. Um, so uh, the directions ask them to identify the slope and y-intercept and then write the slope intercept form of the line. Um, so I want to give them a place to do that. So I'm going to create a series of text boxes. I'm going to have a text box that says slope, and they can type their slope there. I'm going to put one of those next to each graph. Then I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to make a text box, this text box that says y-intercept. longer. And again, I'm going to copy and paste that for each graph.
I'm using the red lines to try to make sure that it's matched up uh, with all the others. It's not really a huge deal that this is going over off of the slide um, unless you were going to be printing this. If you were going to be printing this, then that would be important that everything was on the slide. Um, but your students will be able to see that. You will be able to see it when they share it back with you. Um, so if it's not anything that's going to be printed, that's not a problem. If it is something that's going to be printed, then you might want to move those to a different spot. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to put here is a text box for my equation. And copy and paste that again for every graph. So this is a super straightforward, easy way to take a worksheet and put, put it onto Google Slides. As you can see, it took me almost no time at all. Um, but it's not necessarily the most exciting thing ever. Um, so I do want to show there is another way uh, that you can do something very similar. It takes a little bit more work. Um, but you can uh, just make it a little bit more fun. So that's going to be a drag and drop here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of little shapes here. Maybe we'll make it a, a more interesting color. I'm going to put a ton of these down here all over the place. These are going to be for our slopes. There's four graphs here, but I want to have more than four options because I don't want it to be super obvious what the right answers are. So I'm going to place um, a fraction or a, a whole number, depending what the slope is, in each of these. So I want to make sure I have the answers. So I'm going to see here that this is 2 over 1. So one of these needs to have a slope of 2. So a slope of 2. And then maybe I want to do a slope of 1 half to try to, you know, kind of trick them. Um, a slope of 1 half. And a slope of two can easily be confused, of course, because of rise over run. So I'm going to put that as kind of a, a challenge or one that to trip them up. Right. Looks like our next one is one over four. So we're going to have a slope of one fourth. I'm just going to decrease the size here so that that fits. Great. And I need a slope of negative one fourth. Oh, that's good. That'll be tricky. They might uh, mix up the positive and the negative if they aren't careful. And then finally, we have, let's see, one, two, three over two. Oh, that'll be a good one. I'll do a trick one here as well. So I'll do slope three over two, and then I'll also do two over three. So we may want to put in our directions when you post this on Google Classroom, or you can add a directions um, box on the side that not all will be used. So two thirds. So that's another one that's kind of there to challenge them, to test them a little bit. Okay, so we've got four or six slope options. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but these are going to be for my y intercept. So I'm going to copy this first um, rounded rectangle and I'm going to change the background color and then I'm going to change these to be y intercept. So let's see, our first one is a y intercept of negative three. I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to do six again. And then I'm obviously going to be changing these numbers here. So we have a negative three. Actually, we have negative three again. So I'm going to leave two of those up there. Looks like we have a positive one. And then we have a positive three. And then I'm going to need to put some random answers in there as well. So maybe I'll put a 2 and a 4 uh, just so they, you know, if they didn't count carefully. All right. And then lastly, we're going to put in our uh, equations. I really don't want to give them equations already written. I really want them to type the equation based on what they um, had uh, for their slope and y-intercept. And so I'm simply just going to give them a place to type the equation. I don't want to, I don't want to give them a drag and drop for equations. So I am going to put a text box. Put Maybe I'll put it at the top for each one. And it'll say equation. And I'll do that for each one. So they can put their slope and y-intercept directly on the graph. I'll show you in a second. And then they can type their equation for their answer, for their final answer. All right, so what they would do is they would say, okay, uh, this has a slope of negative one-fourth. 
they would find that answer choice and they would simply drag that to the graph. And I would say, okay, this has a y-intercept of one. They would drag that to the graph. And then they would type their equation, y equals negative one-fourth x plus one. And that would be ready to be graded. All right, one couple features I want to show you real quick before I end this video. You can sort and make these uh, little options look a lot more organized by going to arrange, distributing horizontally and vertically. Oh, well, I'm going to have to do them in two groups. I think I'm going to have to do three at a time. Okay, so let's just do the top three. Arrange. Distribute horizontally. There we go. Arrange, distribute vertically. And then same thing down here. We're going to arrange, distribute horizontally, arrange, distribute vertically. Just makes everything nice and lined up. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So these ones I think I'm going to do these three. Arrange, distribute horizontally. Arrange, distribute vertically. So we're pretty close already. Same thing here. This one looks like it needs to be aligned. There we go, centered. All right, so that's how um, you can turn a worksheet into an interactive activity very quickly and easily for your students. You can share this on Google Classroom, or you can just provide them with a view-only link and they can create their own copy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.